Thank you, Rachel. Well, the man who helped turn the University of Maryland, Baltimore County into a nationally renowned institution is saying goodbye. Dr. Freeman Rabowski is retiring. WJZ is live right now. Kelsey Kushner just spoke to the president about his decision and the legacy he is leaving behind. And it's a phenomenal one, Kelsey. Denise, well, after being here for 35 years, serving 30 of those years as president, Dr. Freeman Rabowski tells me that he is finally ready to retire. He says he calls this campus home. The people uh, in this community are family to him. He says he couldn't be more proud of his students. What a great story when an educator and a university can grow together and leave each other saying, we love you more than ever. After three decades at UMBC, <laughs> President Rabowski announces his retirement yep, at the end of yep, the school yep. year. Known as one of the nation's longest serving presidents, President Rabowski has turned UMBC into a national model for producing minority scientists and engineers. With a laundry list of achievements, he says he's most proud of his students' success. I will always live through my students. Rabowski served 45 years in higher education, bringing students from all over the world with different backgrounds to UMBC, giving them a chance to excel in science and technology. He tells WJZ, although it's an emotional announcement, he feels confident his legacy will live on. UMBC is in my blood, in my wife's blood. We are, we are a part of UMBC, and UMBC is, is in our DNA. And there have been both local and state leaders reacting to this announcement in a tweet. Governor Larry Hogan said in part he has inspired so many with his actions, words, and dedication. His commitment to supporting students from underrepresented groups has transformed higher education, not only in Maryland, but around the world. Reporting live at 7, Kelsey Kushner for WJC.